Hello from Greece, already close to the elections. Let's look at the relevance of migration here in Greece. But before looking into the electoral campaigns, we first want to remind ourselves why migration, in fact, is of great importance here. To begin with, the number of people on the move reaching Greece is rising. According to the UNHCR, it more than doubled last year. And not only the number of people is rising, but also the number of human rights violations against them. We see systemic violence at the borders preventing people from crossing, but also a lack of access to asylum and insufficient basic services for those already in the country. People are held in detention centers and stripped of their rights systematically, and there is no proper integration policy for those who intend to stay. Last but not least, both refugees and migrants, as well as human rights defenders showing solidarity with them, are increasingly being criminalized. Besides, there is yet another reason why migration should remain in the spotlight. We are in the midst of the EU negotiations on the reform of the common European asylum system, and some very crucial questions are at stake here. For instance, the asylum procedures regulation proposes admissibility procedures which should be carried out in centers at the EU's external borders, like in the closed control access centers on the Aegean Islands. Greece obviously would be affected by any such decision. However, looking at the electoral campaigns, migration is barely talked about. If at all, it's rather framed as a security issue and a threat. And security means border security, not the security of people seeking protection. So, given the issues at stake, it's rather surprising that only one out of all parties running for the elections mentions the ongoing human rights violations against refugees and migrants, and none of them speak about the EU level at all. 